Now let's take a look at another AV storage solution from Chief. The NW1 series wall racks are perfect solutions for smaller office environments or classroom settings. They come in depths of both 18 and 23 inches and size ranges are between 12 and 36 rack units. Let's take a look at the installation steps and some features and benefits for the NW1 series hinged wall rack. The NW1 wall racks are shipped in a single package, but with the front and rear rack sections unassembled for an easier installation. The first step before mounting the NW1 series wall rack is to find the center line of the rear rack section. Measure down from the top edge of the rear rack section. Once the measurement is made, lay the rack down on its face. Using a hammer and flathead screwdriver, knock out the removable rear access panel as shown. Then to locate the upper mounting points, again measure from the top edge of the rear rack section. Now use the measurement taken for the center line of the rack and subtract the measurement for the upper mounting point. Draw a level line across the upper mounting point locations. Slide the stud finder out from the area above the outlet to locate the nearest adjacent studs to the left and right. Mark the stud locations and drill a half inch pilot hole through each. The mount can be installed on either wood studs using lag bolts or steel studs using plastic sleeve anchors. The steel stud anchor backing can be slid flat and inserted into the pilot hole. Then align the plastic arms and slide the collar up to the drywall. Break off the plastic arms as shown. Insert the quarter 20 by 1 and 3 quarter inch machine screw into the sleeve anchor and thread it partially into the metal anchor piece now located behind the wall stud. With both upper mounting screws partially inserted, grab the rear rack section and position and hang the teardrop cutouts over the mounting hardware. Use a level on the top edge of the rear rack section and hold the rack in the level position if the bubble is slightly off. Then, while holding the rack, tighten the mounting hardware on both sides. Now, mark the remaining mounting points within the rear section of the rack. Because the pilot holes for the anchors are larger than the slot in the rear rack section, the rack must be removed. Loosen the upper two mounting screws and lift the rear rack section from the wall. Drill the pilot holes at each previously marked location and then insert the remaining steel stud anchors. Next, determine which direction the front section of the wall rack is going to swing out. Grab the latch and mounting hardware and install it to the rear rack section as shown. Also, rubber bumpers are provided and can be inserted into the pilot holes on the same side as the latch. Next, use the large socket head cap screws and Allen wrench to secure the front section of the NW1 rack to the rear section. 
rests the bottom edge of the front section of the rack on the wall mounted portion of the NW1. Then align and finger tighten the upper bolt. Carefully maneuver the front rack section to align the lower bolt and begin tightening into place. Then use the provided Allen wrench to secure both connection points. Now the latching mechanism must be installed to the appropriate side of the NW1 hinged wall rack solution. The release latch comes assembled and security screws are provided for use with this component. Align the latch with the pilot holes in the sidewall of the hinge portion of the wall rack and secure with the provided hardware. Another feature shared across all chief racks are depth adjustable rack rails. Loosen the attachment screws and slide the rail to the desired position. As you can see, the NW1 rack also includes slots on the bottom and sides of the rack for proper ventilation, laser cut knockouts for various size electrical fittings, and a removable 3RU top panel for adding any number of chief rack accessories. In addition to these features, rack doors can be ordered and are available in solid, perforated, or plex versions. These doors simply drop into the pilot holes on the rack using spring pins. All racks from Chief have the grounding wire pre-installed and the door has the grounding pins for quick and easy connections. This completes the installation review for the NW1 series wall racks from Chief.